I'm Lisa Cheplak, and I'm a nutrition chef with Green Our Planet. Welcome to my pizza party. Today I'm going to show you a simple and healthy way to make pizza with your family. To keep it simple, instead of making dough, we're going to use pita bread as our crust and also English muffins. For our sauce, you can use any kind of jarred tomato sauce that you might have in your pantry, or I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy tomato sauce using some fresh ingredients, fresh herbs from your garden, maybe fresh tomatoes, and then also some canned tomatoes that also might be in your pantry. This is a super simple tomato sauce, really easy to make, that's going to be so delicious on your pizza. So let's start with our tomato sauce. Again, this is a quick, easy tomato sauce. You don't even have to cook it. We're going to use a food processor today to blend it up. You can also use a blender. You can use fresh tomatoes. I'm going to use a few fresh tomatoes from the garden and then also some fresh herbs, like oregano. This is one of my favorites, I just got it out of my garden. And then also some fresh parsley that I had in my garden as well. So both of these herbs are gonna flavor. You can also use basil or any type of herbs that you might have in your garden. So we're gonna start by adding a can of diced tomatoes to our food processor. So diced tomatoes in a little bit of tomato juice. And then next we're gonna add a small can of tomato sauce. Tomatoes are a great source of lycopene, which is a really great antioxidant that's really great for your heart and keeps you healthy. They also have vitamin C, which keeps your immune system healthy. Tomatoes are great to have as part of your regular diet. And then we're gonna have some fresh tomatoes too, and I'm just gonna add those right in there. And then we're gonna add our herbs, add some parsley, and then just a touch of oregano. You don't wanna do it, overdo it on the herbs because it'll get too powerful in their flavor, you can always add more in later. And you can also add some dried. I have some dried basil here, so we're just gonna add a touch of dried basil. And then we're gonna add some garlic. I've already minced this garlic. Garlic, of course, is good for our heart as well, and nature's medicine, and just so wonderful and flavorful. It's gonna really flavor this sauce. So we're gonna add about one garlic clove. Again, you don't wanna overdo it. You can always add more in later. And then we're just gonna add a touch of salt. And that's how easy it is to make your own pizza sauce. So you just want to blend your sauce for a couple minutes just to break down the chunks of tomatoes and just make it nice and smooth and get all those flavors together. And then you just want to give it a quick taste to make sure you don't need to add any more herbs or seasonings. Mm, I think that's perfect and so good to go. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. So I know you probably just want to add cheese to your pizza and you'll be good to go. Maybe cheese and pepperoni. But today we're going to think garden pizza. We're going to think eating the rainbow and adding some different color on our pizza. So I'm gonna show you the different toppings that I have today, and maybe you can try this at home. So instead of pepperoni, we're gonna use what I call zucchini-roni. These are zucchini, just sliced zucchini. They have vitamin B and lots of vitamin C, so they're super good for your immune system, gonna give you lots of energy. Zucchini are excellent. Great to add on these pizza. And then we're gonna add mushrooms. Mushrooms are super immune boosting and really good for you, so we're gonna add some mushrooms. We have some tomatoes again, just some fresh tomatoes. And this time we have broccoli. Broccoli, who loves broccoli? Everyone loves broccoli, right? So lots of vitamin C in there and really good for our bones. Broccoli is really great for you, good source of fiber. So that's gonna go on our pizza as a fun little topping. And then of course olives. Olives are so good on pizza, so that's a great topping too. And then I have some dairy-free cheese. If you can't have dairy products, then there's always a dairy-free option. So I'm gonna have dairy-free on mine. And then we have some bell pepper here and bell pepper has lots of vitamin C too. And it's a sweetness, great sweet pepper, and it's just delicious on pizza. And I cut it up super small, like confetti. We're just gonna sprinkle it over our pizza and it's gonna be so delicious. So I have our pizza crust ready on our tray here. You just wanna get a long baking sheet like this and I put some parchment paper down. And you wanna turn your oven to 350 degrees. And then I'm gonna use this whole wheat pita bread. I'm gonna do two of those and then I have these English muffins too. I love the size of these English muffins. Perfect for the young kids. These are great. So English muffins, these are whole wheat English muffins and I just broke it in half and it's good to go. So we have four pizzas coming right up. So let's see what kind of toppings we're gonna add. So we're gonna use our delicious quick tomato sauce. Oh, it looks so delicious. And then we're gonna add our toppings, maybe our zucchini ronis and our bell pepper. There we go, and how about some broccoli on this one? Yep, that looks good. And some olives. 
and then maybe a few mushrooms on this one. I think I'm grabbing everything on this one. So maybe this is my deluxe. And then some tomatoes. And then this one, I think we'll go ahead and do our dairy-free cheese. So this is gonna be the vegan lover's pizza. This one's for me, for sure. Doesn't that look delicious? I can't wait. Our pizzas are ready to go in the oven. And you only need to put them in the oven for about 10 minutes. You just want the cheese to melt. You wanna keep an eye on them when they're in the oven. You just want the cheese to melt and everything to get nice and hot. So pizzas will be ready soon. So I just took the pizza out of the oven. It looks like the cheese is nice and melted. And everything's nice and hot and ready to go. So as I was waiting for these to bake, I cut up some fresh herbs. I was just gonna sprinkle on the top. I love the smell of oregano and parsley and basil. It smells like pizza. So next time you're out in the garden, check it out. When you smell it, you're gonna think of pizza. And we're just gonna sprinkle these fresh herbs on the pizza. Just give it a nice pop of gardeny flavor. And then I also, put the rest of our sauce in a jar. Because now we can use this later for more pizza or for pasta night, which is tomorrow night. So I hope you enjoy this pizza party idea for your family, and I hope you enjoy making garden pizzas. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Stay healthy.